G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And me and my little maid over here today, we're going to be doing some eye gels. I have used these before, so I'm going to be able to give you my personal experience. This is the second time that I've used them. I'm also going to compare them against two other eye gels that I've used from different brands and you know how I feel about these. But these are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. So if you're interested in knowing how I feel about these guys, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back guys. As I said today, we're going to do the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These guys come in a packet of four. I picked mine up from Mecca Australia. Uh, they were $27 for the packet of four and they come in their own little packs like this, four packs like this. And um, yeah, today I'm going to put them on. I have used these before, as I said. Um, so this is my second time using them, so um, I'm excited to let you know how I feel about these. But I do want to get uh, some housekeeping out of the way. I wanted to let you know that if you guys don't like these, that's okay. It's just personally what I feel about these products. I don't um, necessarily love or hate particular brands uh, or particular products. Um, and yeah. If you love a product or you hate a product that I love or hate, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but also do know that sometimes products will work better on me than they will on you, or they'll work on you and they won't on me. So I have dry, dehydrated, sensitive, eczema prone skin, and um, this is just how they work on me, and hopefully that you can get something out of this video that will help you, especially if you have similar skin concerns or conditions like I do. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the video. Let's whip these bad boys on, and I will let you know what I personally feel about these, and um, yeah. All right, let's get into it. For starters, I've got a little pull tab over here in the corner. Um, one of the things that I already know that I like about this is that they do have less packaging. So ordinarily, when you pick up some of these, they would have like a um, the packaging that it would come in and then the little tray that it would come in. And generally, there would be a strip on either side of the gels. With these ones, because they do have a fluffy texture, there is no plastic coating over the top of that. I don't know how well these guys break down. I actually haven't had a look um, to see whether they are... Uh, it says that they're 100% vegan, cruelty-free, dermatologist-tested, um, clean skincare. So take from that what you wish. But as I said already, um, it's got a tick because it doesn't have the extra piece of uh, plastic that goes over the top of these. Um, a lot of other eye gels that I have used are generally really, really goopy. Uh, when I do take both sides off, I'm usually not sure which side to actually da lay down. And um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I particularly love hydrogel ones and I would assume that there would be product on both sides of those but with, with this you know exactly which side to lay down so let's get these guys on alright so let me pull out my trusty mirror so with these guys you want to have the smallest part towards the corner of your eye biggest part on the outside for those who don't know I guess it really doesn't matter but it just fits a little bit better if you do it that way and that's the way the directions tell you so we're going to peel off the the backing of these, which is a lot easier than the other brands. Um, yeah, yeah, there we go. So that's the only plastic other than the casing that it comes in that you have to worry about. And then we just line it up and place it where we feel comfortable. Now, there's a significant difference to these than any other eye gel that I have used. Now, I don't want to say that there's an adhesive in it, but it's got a suction to it that feels like an adhesive, right? So they are not goopy and slimy and, and slip down your face like other ones do. It's just, I don't know what it is, but there's a tackiness about it that almost feels like it's got... Um, like not PVA, but you know those crappy glue sticks that you get in uh, primary school? It feels like that, right? So when you place it down, it's going to stay where you put it. So that's something that I do love about it, but it also feels weird too. So let me just put this one on and we'll continue talking about the products. Uh, let's get on to talking more about this. So it does have the fluffy side here, as I said, it is stuck on. So I could go for a jog, I could talk, I could drink, I can jump up and down. I can do almost anything with these and they're not going to go anywhere. I do believe that these stay on for 10 minutes. So let me just have a look. Yeah, up, up to 
10 minutes and then when we're finished we'll gently peel it away and you can use it once a week or whenever you need a quick fix. There is no um, patting in of any extra serum because there is no excess serum to pat in. Um, and I guess that's very different um, for me in the other ones that I've used. So the two other brands that I want to talk to you about um, in comparison to this is the Patchology ones, which I'll put up here, and the Mecca brand ones here. Both of these I absolutely love. These are in my top, at least top five. And I love these because they, they are very moist. They are drenched. And I don't feel like they slip. I mean, they do move a little bit, but then in saying that, I wouldn't have the confidence to do anything else. Like if I wanted to get up and do dishes or I wanted to do something or the kids needed me or something like that, I'd get up and do it. But I reckon there would probably be a little bit of slipping. So while I absolutely love these two brands, um, with these, this one here, I know that I could do anything and they weren't going to slip. I'd, I'd be confident to get in the bathtub, chuck them on, and know that I'm not going to have to worry about it. Even I reckon if I got a little bit of water on them, I don't think it would be such a big deal. Um, but I do feel that maybe with the other ones, they might do a little bit of slipping. Um, I don't know how I feel about the fact that these ones aren't sort of drenched. I feel that the Mecca and the Patchology ones, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more out of it. Um, I do enjoy these. Uh, this is the biggest perk, is the fact that I know that they're not going to move. Uh, on top of that, I would actually class them as reasonably priced. Uh, all of these uh, brands, they come in packs. So the Skin Iceland comes in a pack of four, the Patchology comes in a pack of five, and I also believe you can buy it in a pack of 30, and the Mecca one comes in a pack of five also. But if you break them down, the um, Patchology ones are about $4.60 for a set, the uh, Mecca ones are about $7.20 for a set, and the Skin ones are $6.80. So these, these are somewhere in between the two. Um, and I've got to say that I, I really, really do enjoy the Patchology ones. They make me feel special. I don't know what it is. The, those are the two, the Mecca and the Patchology ones. They feel luxurious. And I, I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because it's the hydrogel or whether it's because they've mixed, like, sparkles inside the hydrogel. Don't worry, you don't leave sparkles on your face or anything like that. But they do feel a little bit more bougie than these ones. These ones feel a little bit more, um, I want to say professional. But yeah, um, I love all three of these. I have tried these before. Um, I think that they are perfectly fine. I think they are perfectly affordable. Uh, I do have to say that I prefer, even though these ones do stay in place, I do prefer the effects of the Patchology ones more than these, but I would definitely pick these ones up again. Um, all three of those brands I would constantly rotate in my stash. But these are nice, so I definitely do recommend trying these guys out if you don't like the Patchology ones or you can't get a hold of the Mecca ones. Mecca is an Australian um, outlet, kind of like uh, Sephora and Ulta in America, um, that stock their own brand as well, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I've already really pretty much told you about the pros and cons. I guess the pros are is that it stays in place, they're pretty affordable, um, but... The cons are, uh, I don't think that it does as well as the Patchology or the Mecca brands uh, in hydrating. Um, it definitely does reduce puffiness. I just find that the other two brands, uh, my skin personally loves just a little bit more. So that pretty much sums it up for the pros and cons. I like, I like this brand. I just like some other brands or oh, some other eye gels or hydrogels, just a little bit more than this. Um, and the biggest uh, pro for me with this one is the fact that it's it's non-slip. It's definitely non-slip. This is how I want my entire face mask to fit on my face. I'm cool if it has to be in two pieces, but this is the way that I want my face masks to be. I don't want them to slip off for no reason. So um, any other brand out there, if you're watching this, this is what we want. We want the non-slip, but we want all the other benefits. I don't think that's too much to ask. Maybe? Yes? No? I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let's take these guys off. Last time I did not uh, have a reaction to them. Let's fingers crossed that I don't have a reaction now. Sometimes my skin can be cantankerous, you know, one day it'll love something, next day it'll hate it. So let's take these off and see how we go. 
it definitely feels nice. It does not feel as refreshed as the other two brands, as I've already stated numerous times, um, but I feel great. It, it feels very cool. It feels um, revitalized, fresh, I guess. I feel fresh now. And um, there's no mess, so I don't need to go and dry my hands or anything like that. I can just throw these guys away. Um, yeah. And I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to pad anything else in. I'm ready to go. Do you know what I actually like about this is the fact that these are uh, are not messy. I could put these on before I did my eye makeup and that way it would catch all of my uh, fallout from my eyeshadows or anything like that. And possibly I could even put my mascara on because you know I've got really really little lashes on the bottom and a lot of the time when I'm putting mascara on it'll hit the bottom here. And, uh, and because these are non-slip you can get these right up there. Because they're not goopy and slimy and, and everything like that you do not have to really worry about getting any fluid or anything like that in your eyes. So this is a bonus if you are wanting to put makeup on, you need to de-puff your eyes or anything like that. These would be fantastic for someone like you. Anyway guys, I absolutely love these. Um, I will buy them again. Uh, and yeah, check out some of those other brands that I was talking to you about as well because they are also fantastic eye gels. If you've been using eye gels that you absolutely love, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, and maybe even pick some up myself and try them. If you found anything in this video uh, beneficial to you, feel free, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. And for anyone who is new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, please don't forget to check the bell because it will notify you every time that I upload. And hey, what's the harm? If you don't like it in the long run, you can always unsubscribe later. And if you want to catch me or have a chat, feel free, message me down below for any reason on any of my videos. But if you don't want to catch me here, you can always catch me over on my Instagram account. I will leave my socials on here somewhere for you guys. And I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Bye.